So I'm so excited about our new Equatio update. You might notice that next time you open it up in the G Suite, you'll see this new icon, the screenshot reader. I'll get to that in a second, how that works in our G Suite, but I want to talk a little bit about more what that means. So previously, anywhere before today, anywhere on the web that you went and you clicked on the Equatio icon, we said we only worked in the G Suite, but no longer. So let's look, go ahead and look. I had a PDF that was sent to me and uh, I opened up my Google Drive. And once I do this, I want to be able to take this and make this into a Google form or make it have it an editable and accessible map. I just click on the button and now I have this awesome screenshot reader thing. So I get the crosshairs, click on the button, select my map, and then what Equatio does, does it automatically finds out what that map is behind it and can read that aloud properly. The fraction with numerator 8 plus 2 times open paren negative 4 close paren squared and denominator 12 minus open paren negative 3 plus 7 close paren. So awesome. So again, a PDF that just came, became accessible. All I had to do is upload it to Google Drive. I can use it there. Look for it coming soon in our new PDF reader as well. I can play that again if I want, but also I have these more options. Alice Keogh loves three different buttons. Hit those drop downs, and I can then copy that, and I can drop over anywhere I have Equatio open and just paste that directly in and it magically makes it into its way in the G Suite. So now it's accessible in my Google Doc. I can put that into a Google Form question. I can use that for any of my responses. I can put it into Google Slides. Anywhere that Equatio toolbar works, I can just paste that in there. So awesome. So that helps me make accessible math from PDFs. Also, it was really fast for me to turn this PDF into a Google Form. So that is awesome. Again, anywhere on the web, if I have some handwritten stuff, I just click on this button. And then Equatio will be able to take that, even if it's a handwritten, tries to magically figure out what that math is behind it, reads it aloud, and also I can copy that. And for those accessibility the people. with the numerator 2x to the 5th power minus 3x plus 1 and denominator 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5. So again, I can also copy the MathML if I was creating some digital resources and trying to take some something and make it more, uh, have a Braille output or some of those type other things. So. Again, just merely making it accessible from a digital standpoint. So uh, another thing is uh, Stacey Rochan is one of my favorite people on the internet, well, in, in real life as well, but she does an awesome job in preparing her students by using digital work. So the AP Calculus exam, let's say that you were doing some prep preview, watching one of Stacey's awesome videos. All I have to do is I can pause that video and I can even use a screenshot reader to see what that math was that she was doing. Really awesome for me doing the review. I can have that be read aloud again, even if it's a little blurry because it was a, a video that wasn't super great um, equals so it reads out loud but also I can just copy that and then I can just come over to wherever I need to and I can paste that in there so again it's accessible on that I thought that R and it was a W of T uh, so I can just get the W of T um, and then it, this was actually a pi so I can just change those in there use my prediction insert all that fix it up if I want uh, so that's a really cool way where I can just take and try to figure out what that math was so even if they like if I want to take uh, this part, you can see she even highlighted it. It's a little blurry. It'll try to figure out, is that the integral from 0 to 12 of uh, W of T dt equals? Uh, it the came close. From zero to 12 of e. It thought that was square root of 4 when it was really 1.4. But I can just copy that and work from there. So again, taking YouTube videos, snipping math out of there, making them accessible and editable again. And then finally, what is one of the differences with us reading aloud? So I can just pop into my Equatio, open that up, take the screenshot reader, and not only will it read it much better, what it'll do is actually read it correctly and make it editable, so I can take that and paste it anywhere that I want. Open paren f over g close paren prime equals the fraction with the numerator f prime of g minus g prime of f and denominator g squared. So again, much better. I can also just copy that file over here, and I can paste that directly into wherever I want and insert that into the map. So that's a great way that I can just take things and just fire them in there if I want. Um, so that is how our screenshot reader works. So one of the things I can also do is I can work in here. So if I take that screenshot reader and I have some math, this could have been just an image or someone could have pasted something. I can take that and I can just screenshot that and it'll do the same thing. It'll make it be read aloud, but also I can just drop down a new option, edit with Equatio, it brings it down in here. So that works not only for Equatio stuff, but let's imagine that somebody shares a Google Doc with you where they built something in the actual equation editor. So I could have something like 3 uh, to the 4th power um, minus uh, the square root of 3. And then I can put that, um, there we go, over 12. 
And so now I can just use this screenshot reader, take that math. It's not accessible right there. So even if I want it to be read aloud, it won't be. But now I can just fire that in. Equatio can read that aloud, but also I can Three just to the fourth. bring it out here, edit it, insert it. So now it's accessible and editable without having to use the equation editor. So I'm super excited by that and the ability to make things accessible and also editable, really amplifying the technology here to really make math class much more digital.